I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on spectroscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Dat Destroyer and Orgo Man books. I'd like to go over a problem involving spectroscopy, but it's going to involve multiple concepts. So I think you're going to enjoy it, so come around and let's have a look. I give you a C5H10O compound, and I say to you it gave three carbon-13 signals. It gave a positive Lucas test within five minutes, and the IR graph is shown below. Now, we want to see what is the identity. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to calculate the degree of unsaturation in this compound. I've shown this on another tape, so I'm going to do it quickly. I write down the given, and underneath I write the nearest alkane, which is double plus two, ignore the O. The difference of H's is two, and cut it in half. So that means there is one degree of unsaturation. Now, what that means is the compound either has one double bond or one ring. So I got that piece of evidence. I know there's a double bond or a ring. Now, I would like you to go to the IR graph for a minute, and I want you to take a good look at something. If there was a double bond, I would see a spike at around 1650. And as you can see, the 1650 would be somewhere down here, and I don't see that. I do not believe that there is a double bond present. It says that there is a positive Lucas test. Now, the Lucas test was a test for alcohols. Primary, there's no test. Tertiary, you'll form a cloudy layer. You'll have two different layers. The solution gets cloudy within a few seconds. But this says it took within a few minutes. So I have a good suspicion that this is a secondary alcohol. And if you go to the IR graph, Alexandria, if you can move in a little bit, and you can see that big spike around 3,400. The IR is confirming, confirms my suspicion of an alcohol. Now, so we know it's a secondary alcohol. We know... Um, there's no double bond, so I got a feeling this is a ring. Now, if this is a multiple choice question on the dot, the answer will be right there. But let's take a look at a proposal. What if it was a five carbon alcohol? Now, the question is, would this give a positive Lucas test within five minutes? Yes, it's a secondary. Notice there's a whole bunch of SP3 stretches, and I can see that right at about 2950. The spike at around 3,200, which are the two main spikes you need to know are these two. Um, we don't really need to look from that 1,500 down. That's called the fingerprint region. So we're going to stick to the idea of the stretching bands up in this region here. If you look at the carbon-13 data, we have three spikes. So if I call this carbon-A... This would be B, and this would be C. So that would indeed give me my three signals. So I'm going to propose that this structure, this unknown, is cyclopentanol. I hope this helps and gives you a good understanding of how we go about doing a problem involving spectroscopy on an unknown. Spectroscopy combined with chemical test is a great way to identify an unknown compound. Okay, good day to you, and I'll see you in study group.